Hi everyone, in today's video, we will discuss about the time complexity analysis of binary search technique in worst case. So now let us try to understand this concept. Okay, so now here, suppose I have a problem of size n and we have to search the position of an element in this problem. So according to the concept of binary search, first we will search that element with the middle element and if we find that the element which we are searching is equal to middle element, then we will just return the position of that middle element. That means we have successfully found the element which we are searching. Suppose if the element which we are searching is not the middle element, then it will be either on the left side of the middle element or it might be on the right side of the middle element. Okay. Suppose if the element which we are searching is lesser than the middle element, then we will completely discard the half of the problem. Because at this time we know that the element which we are searching is surely present on the left side of the middle element. So we will only focus on the left side of the problem and at this time the problem n will get divided by 2. So our search space now gets reduced from n to n by 2. Now again we have to check the element which we are searching in this left sub problem and first we will compare the key element with the middle element. So here the middle element and first we will check whether the key element is equal to middle element. If the key element is equal to middle element then we will return the position of the middle element. That means we have successfully found the key or the element which we are searching. If the element which we are searching is not equals to middle element then it will be either on the left side of the middle element or on the right side of the middle element. If the element which we are searching is lesser than the middle element then surely that element will be present on the left side of the middle element. So in this case we will completely ignore the right sub problem and we will only focus on this left sub problem. Okay and then we will further divide the problem of size n into n by 4. So now we need to calculate what is that time required for this binary search algorithm if the element found at the lowest iteration or if the element not found in the problem statement. Okay. So now let us do that. So now t of n. Okay. t of n is the time taken to perform binary search on the problem of size n is equals to time taken to perform binary search on the problem of size n by 2 plus c. Okay, So now this t of n by 2 is the time taken to perform a binary search on the problem of size n by 2 and plus c is the constant time. Okay, So while searching we will be performing many other tasks as well like finding out the middle location and then checking whether low is less than high. Okay, For performing all these operations it also going to take some time and that time is constant for each and every iteration. So that constant time will be denoted with this symbol C. Okay, So now we will mark it as 1. Okay, Now again we need to calculate time taken to perform binary search algorithm on the problem of size n by 2 is equal to P of n by 4 okay, plus C. So now we need to consider this as 2. We will substitute 2 in 1. Okay, We will put this uh, t of n by 2, entire t of n by 2 in this place. Okay, In tn, t of n equals to t of n by 4 plus 2c. Okay, So I will mark it as 3. Okay, And now again I need to do the same thing whatever I have done in the first step. t of n by 4 is equals to t of n by 8 plus c. I will mark it as 4. And then again I need to substitute 4 in 3. Okay, So I need to put this t of n by 4, complete t of n by 4 in this place. Okay, So t of n equals to t of n by 8 plus 3c. Okay, now I will consider this as 5. So I can do this continuously. Okay, If I continue from here, then I will get t of n by 16 plus 4c, t of n by 32 plus 5c. That means I will be keep on dividing the problem of size n into n by 8, n by 16, n by 
32 size okay so after performing key iterations i will be reaching to a situation where i will have an array of size 1 okay so that is the place we have to stop that means after that point where i have only one element in an array i cannot further divide that problem okay so at that place i have to stop my algorithm and that is been denoted with this general equation t of n equals to t of n by 2 raised to k plus kc okay so now uh, see here as i have told you in this case you can see uh, a pattern is getting repeated so n by 2 okay and then n by 4 which is n by 2 raised to 2 and then we have n by 8 which is n by 2 raised to 3 so after the kth iteration we will get t of n by 2 raised to k plus kc okay so now if you have seen this diagram after each and every iteration the size of the problem statement n is getting decreased okay after the first iteration the size of area was after first iteration n becomes n by 2 okay now after second iteration it becomes n by 2 raised to 2 which means n by 4 after third iteration third iteration the size of array becomes n by 2 raised to 3 which is n by 8 like this if i keep on dividing the sub problems into further sub problems after k iteration we will left with the array of size 1 okay at that time the size of the array will become or the length of array length of array will become 1 okay that is n by 2 raised to k equals to 1 okay so when we keep on dividing this sub problems into further smaller sub problems finally we will left with the array of size 1 and that is n by 2 raised to k equals to 1 t of becomes t of 1 that means at that time when we left with the array of size 1 for that array the time required to apply binary search is 1 that is constant time okay we cannot further divide that problem into smaller sub problem okay, so now we need to take this equation here n by 2 raised to k equals to 1 okay and we'll bring this 2 raised to k here n equals to 2 raised to k and now we'll apply the log on both the sides log of n to the base 2 equals to log of 2 raised to k to the base 2 okay and now we'll further simplify this log of n to the base 2 equals to k into log of 2 to the base 2 okay and then we will come here so we will change this to log of n to the base 2 is equals to k into 1 because this log of 2 to the base 1 becomes 1 because due to the formula log of a to the base a is equals to 1 okay so that's why this log of 2 to the base 2 will becomes 1 so log of n to the base 2 equals to k so k equals to log of n to the base 2 and we are left with the time complexity of binary search algorithm in worst case as big o of log of n okay so this is our time complexity for binary search in worst case okay so i'm sure you guys have understood how we reach with this time complexity of big of log n this is everything about the explanation on analyzing the time complexity of binary search in worst case okay so i'm sure you guys have understood and that's all for this lesson and thanks for watching